Hi girls, uh, today I had a terrible thing happening. Uh, these are my glasses. And as you can see, there's no crystal. Here's, um, here's a glass. Turns out it didn't come off, it simply broke. This is what happened, as you can see. And the problem is that every time I try to put the glass back in, I thought I would just, you know, use crazy glue and just glue it back on. But it doesn't work that way. I've tried several times, try to put it back together, and there's always this little tiny gap. No matter how much I try to, you know, to, to press it or whatever, uh, because it was kind of pressing it itself, that's how it kept everything together. It's how uh, it kept the, the glass inside, but I can't do it because there's this thing. And I don't want to use tape or anything, but I thought maybe, and this is just an experiment, maybe I could put it together using my acrylic nails uh, system. So I thought, well, maybe I can make a little drop of acrylic here on this little uh, gap. And so I can keep everything together. I'll try to put it as close together as I can and just make a little uh, patch in here of acrylic and maybe I can use my glasses again. So I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, here's try number two. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna keep the glass in here and even though it doesn't close completely, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create another acrylic patch right there with the glass inside. So I'm just gonna get some tape and I'm gonna try to keep all this together. So I'm gonna use some tape and I'm gonna try to keep everything together. And I was thinking maybe I should cover the glass also with the tape so it doesn't get stained with uh, acrylic. I'm gonna cover this. Okay, so I got enough tape covering the glass in front and obviously on the back it's covered so it doesn't get stained by the acrylic and, and I'm gonna cover everything. I think it's not tight enough. Here we go. I'm trying to keep the glass inside and very well adjusted to the rim so I can start doing the patch in here. In here. I'm just gonna cover this piece. I think the acrylic will have to be a little bit thicker because if it's too liquid I might risk it going inside um, and under the, the, the tape and damage the glass. And while I ap apply it I'm gonna have to keep pressuring on it so it stays as close as possible and keeps doing pressure on the glass. So this is how I'm gonna hold it. Okay. We got a little drop on the um, on the tape, and I really don't want to have trouble trying to separate the tape if the acrylic is a bit hard. So what I'm gonna use is an orange stick and take the acrylic off. I've, I haven't stopped putting pressure on the glasses. Okay, I got a first try and I'm gonna put another drop in. Don't I have such a beautiful ambiance noise around me? I'm trying to keep a very clean job so I don't have to be using that much cleaning up after I'm finished. The good thing about this kind of repair is that it'll dry up in about five minutes and we will be able to see if my contraption, well, my little repair work is actually effective. Okay, so 
the glass is already there. I think the patch will hold a little bit. So I'll come back to see after five minutes to see how it goes. Okay, so now this patch is really uh, hard now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape off my glasses to see if there's any problem. Hopefully the glass will hold in. trying to be very careful. I don't want to break anything. Uh, you know, all the work that I've done just breaking it because I was careless when taking the tape off. I want to avoid that. Okay. Okay, so it works. As you can see, it actually is still here. Now, all I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a file. I'm going to file all these edges off. And then I'm going to get clear, um, I'm going to use clear polish so I can make this completely transparent. And that's it. I know that there is a part, this one has all the red line, this one doesn't because on my first attempt and I, and I try to separate, um, you know, try to peel the acrylic off, it came with the paint of the glasses. But it doesn't matter, I really don't care about this little piece of... Um, of, of part that it doesn't have any any color on what I can do is that I can repaint all the rim and have everything with a line of color anyway I'm gonna try to uh, file this off and then I'm gonna show you the result okay I already filed the edge all of this is already filed and I'm gonna use this clear polish and I'm gonna just put it on top of it so it's all transparent again Remember, if you pass a polish and you accidentally stain um, the glass, what you can do is just, you know, soak a Q-tip on acetone and just wipe it off. Okay. So you can see it's just becoming again transparent. Here we go. Okay. Clear again. Just gonna. Do the other side as well. And that's it. Uh, while I was filing um, my glasses, I could feel that it was pretty sturdy and it was pretty resistant. So um, I, I didn't have any need to be handling it very carefully. It's actually pretty sturdy. Once it dries up, it's there's no way it's going to break that easily. So I'm just going to let this dry off. I hope you enjoyed this crazy idea slash tutorial. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.